I am not a medical professional. I don't know the proper way to teach somebody to walk crutches, but after almost two months of uh, using crutches, I have gotten pretty good at it, and there was a specific way that I used to, to teach myself how to use crutches and get familiar with crutches, and that's what I'm gonna show to you now. Like, I just wanna be clear and upfront. I'm not a medical professional. You know, take everything I say with a grain of salt. That being said, let's talk about a couple things up front before I show you how I learned how to walk crutches. Number one, I really wish somebody would have told me this, but if you're new to this and you've never, you have no experience with these, buy another set of rubber tips for the bottom of these. They're super cheap on Amazon. <laughs> Once you get dependent on these crutches and uh, you wear these out, you gotta wait a couple days for them to come in, that sucks. Seriously, it's like six bucks for a two pack. It's well worth your time. Uh, the second thing is um, when I was getting fitted for my crutches, they seemed to think that setting it to the six foot one setting was appropriate for me. Now, I, I thought it felt a little weird at first, but you know, be, me being the uh, ignorant guy I am, you know, I've never used crutches. I just thought, hey, let's just go with it. But in reality, six foot one, their professional opinion where I should be has me hunched over. And I find this uncomfortable. I feel this hurts my back. Well, I mean, it, I definitely feel it. it. It hurts my back when I use them like this. So against their advice, I run my crutches at six foot two. Now, for relative scale to me, what this means practically is that with my crutch on the floor all the way down, if I put this in my armpit, it stays. I can move my arm up. It, it's in there. That's, I don't know, I don't know how, I don't know any other ways to describe what, what's going on here, but if I put it in my armpit and touch and put it on the floor, it stays. That leaves me about an inch that I can move my shoulder up to get it up off the ground and I have freedom of movement. That's where it's comfortable for me. My advice to you, again, not a medical professional, don't be afraid to mess with the settings. I prefer walking crutches with a straight back. So, how did I learn to uh, walk crutches? I'm gonna go ahead and back up a little bit here. Oh, by the way, apologize for the messy house. I'm in the middle of a deep clean. So, what I did is I found it super unnatural at first. Um, felt extremely weird and it just... To get myself comfortable walking crutches, and this was all, you, you see me standing on two feet right now, but when I learned to walk crutches, I couldn't put any pressure on my right foot. That's the foot I had surgery on. I had a problem with placement of the shoulder pads and just keeping them straight because you do not want to have one crutch out in front of the other or one off to the side or anything. You don't want that. You want them to be straight. So what I did to get myself comfortable is I was, I'd get next to something. I don't know if you can see this in the frame, but I would kind of balance up next to something so I had a safety I could grab. And then I would just stick my crutches out straight. And then I would just practice putting pressure on them. Now what this did is it gave me confidence in the crutch. It gave me confidence they weren't gonna slip out. It gave me, I guess, experience feeling the weight shift and also it taught me where to put these shoulder pads in my armpit. You don't want them too far back. You don't want them too far forward. You know, you see people with crutches sometimes and they've got towels wrapped around these arms, pads, whatever else. And it's just like, ah, that looks like it's really painful. But for me, walking crutches is not painful if I have it in the right spot. I learned right off the bat that if you don't have these right in the, the perfect, and I can't tell you where that is, because it might be different from you or for you. Just figure out where that spot is, and then I just practice put, putting weight on it, shifting weight from my foot to the crutches. And then I just did this for a while, and then once I got comfortable doing that, I started shifting forward a little bit. Now it's important to note that my crutches are straight with my body or relative to my body and my foot is not going past the crutch or past the crutch line. See, if I go just a little bit past this, gravity is going to want to push me forward and you could lose your balance if you're not familiar with this yet. So again, 
I'm just, once I got comfortable transitioning and push, putting weight on the crutches, I just started moving my foot forward, not past the crutch line. Move it back, move it forward. And I'm feeling the weight transfer come off my foot into the crutches. Just getting used to that. Just like so. And then once I got super comfortable with that, then and only then did I start going past the crutch line. Now it's important to note, I'm not helping this. I'm not throwing my body weight forward. I am literally leaning into it and letting myself fall forward. I absolutely no help. Once you cross over this center line where the crutches are, gravity, like I said, is going to pull you forward. Just like that. So don't help it at first. At least, well, I don't want to tell you what to do. This is just what I did. So you start out, transfer weight onto the crutches, lean forward, and then gravity pulls you forward. Crutches out, straight relative to your body, and then fall forward. And just let the gravity take you forward. Crutches out relative to your body, let gravity pull you forward. Crutches out, weight shift onto them, let gravity pull you forward. And that's the basis of a step with crutches. Now, if we take what I just did and we chain that into a, I guess, walking motion, it'll look like this. Weight on the crutches, gravity forward. Weight on the crutches, gravity forward. Weight on the crutches, gravity forward. We're a little ways off from this. This is a little more fluid than what I just demonstrated. And this is generally how you see people using crutches. It's generally super fluid. And in fact, a lot of people are even more fluid than that. I'm just a fat guy and the excessive weight makes it a little difficult and amplifies every little imbalance. So just something to consider. So to get to that level of fluid, we're gonna introduce another move. So as we weight transfer onto the crutches and fall forward during this fall forward motion into the gravity, we're gonna introduce a little bit of swing into our feet using our core. So what that looks like, and I'm gonna do two of these just to show you the chain, is crutches out relative to your body, swing with the core, swing with the core. And what that does is that adds momentum into the equation with your torso. Your torso, you'll actually feel your torso pull you forward, and that's what gives you your fluidity. Now I'll demonstrate again. Crutches out, straight relative to your body, fall forward, swing your legs with your core. Swing your legs with your core, swing with your core. How do I say this without the inner child in all of us giggling a little bit? It's a thrusting motion. That's what we're aiming for here. It's a, it's a thrusting motion. So now adding a little speed onto the crutches, and you can pretty much just throw yourself forward if you've gotten to this part. You just Throw yourself forward. And if you've made it to this part, you're feeling pretty comfortable so far, you can throw some speed off your takeoff, right? So just throw yourself forward. Get that momentum started. Weight onto the crutches, throw yourself forward. Weight on the crutches, throw yourself forward. Weight on the crutches, throw yourself forward. And that is how I learned to walk crutches. I started out with simple movements that just gave me confidence in the crutches and got me familiar with feeling the weight transfer. And then I learned to swing with my core. It's not hard. Now, a couple things that I think are worth mentioning that I think you should probably practice as well. Super useful moves. The first one is a move with minimal weight transfer. Basically just using the crutches as a way of balancing. So if I need to turn 180 degrees, how would you go about doing that? Well, I'd stick one crutch out in front of me, one behind me, and then shift on my heel in two motions. Pretty much all the weight is still on my foot. Is there a way to do that with the crutches? I don't know. 90 degrees, 90 degrees. Literally just using the crutches to balance at that point. Another one that's pretty useful as well is you'll find that you're, that you're wider, right? You've got these crutches hanging off to the side. And when I first learned, like my crutches were way out there. 
With experience, I've learned to tighten things up a little bit. I just found it a little easier to balance when I was out further. So if you gotta go sideways, you should really practice this when you have a, a bit of a safety zone, you know, something to grab, the safety of your own home sort of thing. Maybe do this in front of the couch. Because the only thing you have to balance when you have one foot and you're trying to shift over side to side is your foot. Like you're all, your foot and your crutches, can you see that? Your, your foot and your crutches are in the same plane. So your back and forth of your foot is the only thing you have to balance on. So when you shift over for this split second right here, you have no balance. <laughs> you just gotta shoot the foot over and just, it becomes an intuitive thing. I don't think I can really describe it, but just trust me, when you move from here to here during that moment, there's no balance. So you have to learn to balance just enough to throw yourself forward or throw yourself over when you do a side to side move. It's worth practicing a side to side move in the comfort of your own home, in a place maybe next to your bed, where if you fall, you're not gonna get hurt. It is useful to know that move though. So I will teach you one more thing that I've learned and that is not something that I learned myself, but my physical therapist taught me. And that's how to use one crutch um, when you get to a point where your other foot can be load bearing. And of course this is only applicable to certain people. My issue is with my right foot. You can see the compression sock I got on there right now. I can walk on it, but not too well. It's kind of a, kind of a hop right now. It is getting better, but it's not perfect. So what she taught me is you put the crutch on the opposite side of the, the foot you're trying to, I guess, baby. So put that sucker in there straight up. You want this crutch to be in sync with whichever foot you're trying to add load to. And you want it to be in sync with that foot. So you take a step forward, crutch goes forward. Take a step forward with that foot, crutch goes forward. And you want to make sure that when you do this, your torsos are straight up and down. Why? I don't know. She said it's important. When I first did this, I didn't realize that this was to, to train my foot to walk normally again, to retrain the muscles. So I was like, okay, this is to walk with one crutch to make, you know, cause some reason, sometimes you gotta walk with one crutch and you're just trying to take as much weight off that foot as possible. So I was way out here. And then I was like, trying to take as much weight off my foot as possible. She said, no. What you're trying to do with this move is train the foot to walk normally again. So shot from behind, straight up, use it as a normal foot. Just take a little bit of pressure off of it with every step. And that's straight from my physical therapist, not me. So that is everything I know about walking crutches and everything I've learned so far. Uh, if you found this video useful, helpful in any way, and you think it might be useful to other people or help other people, I really encourage you to hit that thumbs up button. It does help me, but realistically I'm doing this because I wanna help other people. And you interacting with the video helps, I guess, promote it in the YouTube algorithm. You know, if you find it useful, just hit the button. So thanks for watching, have a good day, and uh, good luck with your crutch walking.